Today I'm gonna do and show you a workout focusing on the planche and manna. The manna is kind of like the evolution of a V-seat. So first step is the L-seat, second step is the V-seat with the legs higher, third step is the manna with the legs even higher and with your hips up. I still cannot do a manna, so I'm gonna do some exercises to learn the manna. And then there is the planche that is very useful for the back part of the flare, to strengthen your shoulder muscles and to be able to push your arms like this in the back part of the flare. Let's start with a short warm-up. I'm gonna use some equipment. What I'm gonna use, some small parallels. If you don't have something like this, you can use some books instead. I'm also gonna use some taller parallels. And then I'm gonna use some elastic loops like these ones. They have different thickness. This is the tightest one. Then I'm gonna use a smaller one, probably. And they help to learn the tuck planche or other movements. If you don't have them, just practice without them. Don't worry, just do some easier variations of the same exercise. First exercise that I'm gonna do is the advanced tuck planche for four seconds on small parallels. If you cannot do the advanced tuck planche, you can do like a tuck planche, a normal tuck planche. And if you don't have small parallels, you can do it on the floor with your hands like this. The advanced tuck planche is the same as a tuck planche. The only difference is that I try to push my knees a little bit more backwards. Oof. Now I'm gonna do the same exercises, but this time using an elastic loop. So I'm gonna decrease the difficulty of the exercise. If you don't have any elastic loop like this and you wanna try this workout, you have to adapt it to yourself. So for example, if you are doing a tuck planche instead of an advanced tuck planche, and in the first two sets you hold it for 10 seconds, then now you can reduce a little bit and hold the same tuck planche for seven seconds instead of 10. Or if you're doing five seconds, now you can reduce and do two more sets, but instead of five seconds, you can do just three seconds, for example. Okay, the first set for me was a little bit too easy with this loop, so I'm gonna try to use a thinner loop. In the next set, I'm gonna use this one, a little bit thinner, so it should help me less. Now I'm gonna do two more sets, but I'm gonna decrease the difficulty even more. I'm not gonna use a thin loop like this, but I'm gonna use a thicker one. This is gonna help me more. Again, if you don't have any elastic loop, you can just decrease the seconds of the hold. In my case, since I'm using the elastic loops that are gonna help me more, I'm gonna increase the seconds. I'm gonna try to hold the advanced tuck planche for 12 seconds. The difficulty of the movement is still gonna decrease a little bit. Last set, in this one, I'm gonna try to push my knees even more backwards. Let's see what happens.
Okay, the workout is done. The first part was focusing more on the planche. The second part was focusing more on the L sit, V sit and manna. This workout is very useful to develop more shoulders, core and hips flexor strength for flares, but even just for these moves, for planches, for V sits or even mannas. If you need more help for the flare, check out the PDF guide that I made. I'm gonna leave the link in the description and see you next time with a new video. Yo ninjas!